A weekend of firsts, Corey Klosek would call it. It's his first time hunting during a global pandemic. First time ever shotgun hunting for deer. I usually am a rifle hunter. So that it was just a lot of firsts this year for me. In terms of deer hunting, Klosek says it went exceptionally well. Eight o'clock in the morning, I had a nice 10 point buck walk in. Uh, I was able to take the shot. Sour, he fell down, but it was tall grass, so I wasn't sure if he was down or if I just lost him in the grass. They say there's a first time for everything, except his other first. Is there a state record for alligators? Klosek is hoping would be his last, at least here in Minnesota, on his friend's farm. It was a three-foot alligator laying on the edge of the pond. <laughs> so I had called her and I just said, hey, uh, there, there's an alligator on your pond back here. And she said, what, what are you talking about? I said, yeah, there's, there's a real live alligator. His first gator encounter. That's not something that you should see in Minnesota ever. Um, <laughs> you know, I traveled the world a lot with the military and I've never been in a place where I've ever seen an alligator in real life. So this was actually the first one that I've ever seen in real life. So it was even more of a shock. Uh, in November in Minnesota to find an alligator swimming in a pond. Klosek is right. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources confirms reptiles like these, whether it be a gator or a caiman, are non-native and considered invasive species in Minnesota. The DNR says the reptiles have no special protections and would not be able to survive the winter. My next call was to the DNR, obviously, and uh, we had found my deer at this point, uh, and I just said, you know, do, do you want me to dispatch this this animal or do you want me to wait for you guys to get here? And I was told, go ahead, no, it's invasive, an invasive species, so go ahead and dispatch it. And that's how Klosek ended up with a 10 point buck and a presumed alligator on ice, both currently frozen, waiting to be taxidermized. Nobody cares about the deer or me, they just, want to see the gator so <laughs> <laughs> he says this made for one heck of a hunting season opener but was upset to find that this most likely happened because of irresponsibility the dnr says most gator or caiman sightings in minnesota are former pets it's frustrating that a pet owner wasn't responsible enough to take care of their pet and released it um, i understand accidents happen and if something happened where it got out um, but i haven't heard of any reports of, of missing alligators. You would think someone <laughs> would be like, my gator got out yeah. and it's missing. Yep, absolutely. So in case you were wondering, it is not illegal to own an alligator in, in Minnesota, although many cities prohibit you from doing so, like the city of Minneapolis, can't do it here. But even if it is legal in your city, the DNR says they really don't recommend this because like that story, if they get loose, those types of animals are just not able to survive in the Minnesota climate.